The first brush I'm going to show you guys is the Chameleon Petal Brush, and this is a large petal brush. And I'm taking some water and going into my Diamond Effects White, and I am really, really moving this around. Now with all of these petal brushes that I'm going to show you, you're going to see me do this. I whip the brush around pretty vigorously, and then I twist and I squeeze out the water and I do it again until I get a really, really nice load. If you load these brushes really, really well, they will go a really, really long way for you. Now I'm just wiping the tip off on my hand, dipping back into a little bit of water, and I'm just using a split cake um, to do this to show you guys. I don't usually use a split cake on the job, but, and then double loading the tip. And then you just press these brushes down horizontally towards your arm or the child's face that you're doing these on and this brush gives a really nice big round fluffy floral petal um, it's a very very nice brush I like it a lot I've used it a lot and it's held up really really well you can see it just gives these beautiful big fluffy petals you can do a double petal which I am doing here and then one of the reasons I like this brush is that if you stack these petals in a particular way, you can make an incredibly fast butterfly. So you can make a really quick butterfly mask using these petal brushes as well. The next brush is a Flora number no. 10 brush, and this has become one of my favorite brushes. I just did a video um, with this brush and chunky glitter as well, you can check out. But again, I am taking this brush, whipping it around in my paint. You really want to activate your paint, which means you have to spend a little time doing this. But once you load these brushes correctly, you can use them for a long time. So it's worth doing the first time. So once I've got my white in there, I'm actually going to triple load this. I wiped off the tip on my hand, went back into some water pulling in the pink side of this split cake onto this flora brush. And then I'm going to go back into a little bit of water and then I'm gonna pull in the darker red in this split onto the tip and I'm gonna get a triple load. You can see that flower there. It has a nice ombre effect to it. So this brush is great. You can do lots of different things with it. I like to drag and then just barely press the tip down and get these cute, little spriggy half flower things. Um, if you press about halfway down on the brush, you get these smaller flattened out at the edge petals. And then if you push the brush all the way down, you get a much larger, fuller petal that's also very pretty. When you turn this brush on its side, you're going to get a completely different look. You can drag and press down on the side and get almost these little cattail looking petals. And if you push harder, you're going to get a larger one. If you just barely push, you get these cool little triangular sprigs. So it, it can add a lot of texture and a lot of fun into a design, all using one brush. It's a great brush. The next brush I'm going to show you guys is from the Face Painting Shop, and it's the smaller Flora brush, similar to the one I just used, but much tinier. So you again get a really nice petal from this. Um, usually you're going to get a little bit more of a flatter edge, as you can see. And you can also pull and get some kind of spriggy petals out of this. It's not quite as diverse as I think the large one is, but you can still get a lot of really, really great effects. And I recommend this smaller brush because kids' faces are small, so that large one can be a little bit hard to use on really, really little kids. Now my favorite brush. It is this Paint Pal Teardrop brush that I have always used as a petal brush. So I think it's a petal brush. Once again, I'm getting my white really, really well loaded double loading this brush and then I'm going to show you the very pretty sweet petals it makes. This is one of my favorite brushes because it's the perfect size for young kids, little kids. Not overwhelming but you can fill up a forehead with a flower crown really really quickly and it's just the perfect brush for me. Easy to drag the tip. It comes to a really really nice tip for fine lines and I love this brush. 
The next one, the Face Painting Shop Mini Flower, I just got this and I think I'm in love with it. Look at these cute, sweet little petals it makes. And what I love about it is if you just barely press down on the tip like I'm doing here, look at these cool round petals you get. I am so excited to use this on the job and I'll do a, another video with a look for this sweet round petal it's just great so really excited about this one those are all my flora and petal brushes that i use at every single event i do i hope you guys like this video and let me know if you have questions i'm happy to help